Hi, this is Alex from AP Commerce, and in this video, I will demonstrate the catchway functionality in Dynamics Nav. To start off, I am going to create a purchase order for a catchway item. So bring out my purchase order, click on new, and specify my vendor. Choose an item, select catchway item, which is some ground beef. And location, I'm going to be receiving it in the gray location. Now the gray location is set up with the light version of warehouse management. If you don't know what that means, please leave a comment in the section. I'll go into more details. And I'm going to say it's 75 cents per pound. Typically when the order processor is done entering the purchase order, they just need to release and create the inventory put away for the warehouse staff. I'm going to close out the PO. When the trucks arrive from the your vendors, they're going to be in the receiving area in the warehouse. As the guys are unloading it from the dock, they would go into the inventory put away, choose the purchase orders that are on the vendor's packing list. From here, they need to specify how many pounds did they receive on the shipment and this is typically on the bill lading. So in this case, I'm just going to say I'm going to receive the 4,000. Uh, because they're not going to ship 1,000 pounds in one box, you have to split this up. For each box that comes in, you will need to specify approximate weight for each box. So in this case, we're going to say that each box is about uh, 100 pounds. And in this case, I'm going to have nav automatically assign the lot number for me. Now, because this item is a catchway item, not every box is going to be an even 100 pound. So to accommodate that, I need to add and subtract quantities from this. So for the first box, it's actually not 100 pounds, it's 98.2 pounds. And the second box is not, again, it's not 100 pounds, it's actually 102 and 3. Now the third box is a little weird, so it's actually 97.6 pounds. Now you notice as I change these quantities, if I go back to the my purchase order, it will automatically update the quantity on the purchase order document based on what you change as uh, on your box. So this will match up what you actually receive from the vendor and what you're going to be invoiced by the vendor. When the warehouse staff is done, they're just going to post, receive, and that completes the warehouse process.